go by the feel of Sapical and <laughs> this piece is called Now is the Opportunity. I used to be a fellow who felt that life was hollow. Everything seemed shallow with no path to follow. I was stuck by my mental constructs that were dictating my conduct. I saw no other possibilities. I felt ill at ease, and the monotony was killing me. My school system was competitive. All my tasks repetitive. Couldn't think for myself, had to listen to the executive. My spirit was dying, and school wouldn't let it live. So I decided, I'm going to go on a quest. I intend to give it my best and strap on my bullshit proof vest. <laughs> I'm going to go on a search for truth <coughs> and then shout it off every roof and share it with all of my fellow youth. So I began a downright investigation to find the roots of this messed up nation. I looked everywhere in exploration. I talked to Buddhists, nudists, and raw foodists. I thought they'd have answers, but none met my expectations. I sat in sweat lodges, garages, and sessions of meditation, systems theory, shamanism, and solar demonstrations. And then finally, in a book that I read on vacation, the root of all our problems is separation. Charles Eisenstein helped me to gain some sanity when I read his life's work, The Ascent of Humanity. He writes of humans going in a new direction, uniting self and nature into reconnection. Now, I don't claim to be a prophet, nor do I want profit in my pockets. I just want to spread the word about these topics because life is so much more than accumulating objects. First, we need a new prescription of opticals because infinite economic growth is pathological, <laughs> whereas permaculture is the logical path. See, humans are an extension of the earth which became self-aware. We're not the rulers of nature. It's our contraire. <laughs> We're just a strand in the web like a tree or a bear. And once we move from egocentric to ecocentric, then the power of love will overcome like Hendrix. See, our potential is excellent, but we've been trained and tamed like a circus elephant. And so we live half lives like a decaying element. Mm -hmm. I call it going through the motion sickness. But the sickness can be cured with the quickness. If you tap into the mental witness, observe your mind like a litmus, discarding old patterns to gain some mental fitness. So that we can recognize that the world isn't mechanized, it's really just our Western minds. And maybe what we perceive is mostly what we believe. And kids do hear Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. And I believe in the miracle land of Zion. That is why I'm lyrically amplifying and seed and gift culture like a spherical dandelion. <laughs> and as more people leave the cave in Plato's allegory, we'll see that this big change is participatory. And we're the actors in this epic story. Look, beauty is all around. The sky starts an inch off the ground. And when you're found in the here and now without your mind making a sound, that is what they call profound. 
And so the message emerging from my vocals is to try on a new pair of bifocals <laughs> and actually say hi to the locals. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Because <laughs> nothing supersedes the power of community. Now is the opportunity. So plant some super seeds and empower unity. <laughs>